This is a story from the Bible. It's the story of David, who was very brave. David was brave because of his faith in God. Saul had been king of the country of Israel, but he kept disobeying God. So God told the prophet Samuel that God was going to choose a new king for Israel. God said to Samuel, go to the town of Bethlehem, and there you'll find a man named Jesse with eight sons. One of them will be the next king. God didn't tell Samuel yet which one would be the new king of Israel. When Samuel first met the sons of Jesse in Bethlehem, he automatically thought that the oldest son would be the king that God had chosen. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at the way he looks or how big he is. He is not the one that I have chosen. The way he looks doesn't matter to me. I look at the heart. I want someone brave enough to be king. Jesse brought more of his sons to meet Samuel, but none of them God had chosen either. Samuel finally asked Jesse, Have I met all of your sons? Isn't there supposed to be eight? Jesse replied, I have one son left. His name is David. He's the youngest. He's out looking out for the sheep. I'll bring him here to meet you. As soon as Samuel saw him, the Lord spoke to Samuel and said, This is the one. Samuel was surprised, but he didn't question the will of the Lord. The prophet Samuel anointed him and promised him that he would be the next king. From that day on, the power of the Lord was with David. However, David continued to take care of his father's sheep in the fields. Not too much changed for him, at least not yet. Meanwhile, Saul was still king, and he ruled over the country of Israel. The Israelites were at war with the Philistines. They were fighting over who could land, live in the land the Israelites were living in. The Philistines were the bigger army. They had trained soldiers. One of these soldiers was also very big. His name was Goliath. Goliath was covered with armor to protect him, and he carried a huge spear and also a huge sword and a shield. He even had a soldier whose only job was to carry them around for him because they were so big and heavy. Goliath was their champion. The two armies faced each other, both of them on a hill with a valley between the two of them, daring each other to make the, uh, the other one to make the first move. Every morning and every night, Goliath came out in the valley alone and shouted to the Israelites in his big, deep voice, I dare you to find one man to fight me. When Saul and all of his men heard this, they were very afraid. At this time, David's father, Jesse, called David in from watching the sheep in the fields. He asked him to take some food to his brothers who were fighting in the Israelite army. So David set off to visit his brothers and bring them food. As he approached the Israelite army, he heard Goliath out in his, the valley shouting his challenge just like he did every morning. Isn't someone going to stand up to this guy? David asked the men in the Israelite army. They all said no because they were afraid of the Philistine Goliath. Then I will fight this giant Philistine, David said. King Saul just said, you can't fight Goliath, you're only a boy and he's been fighting for many years. But David said to the king, I have had to fight a lion and a bear with my slingshot to protect my father's sheep. God help keep me safe then, and will keep me safe now. So King Saul agreed to let him try to defeat the giant Philistine champion, Goliath. King Saul dressed David in his own heavy armor to protect him from Goliath, but David quickly took him off because it was so heavy he could hardly walk. He was still just a teenager. But even more than that, he knew that God would keep him from being harmed. David went to a stream nearby and found five smooth stones, and he put them in a pouch around his waist. And with his slingshot, he went to face Goliath in the valley between the two armies facing each other on the hillsides. As David approached Goliath, Goliath looked at David and he laughed. He thought it was a joke. 
Goliath knew that he could easily beat David, and it was funny that Saul would send a small boy to fight him. But David said to him without fear, You fight with the sword, and I come with God on my side, and today everyone will know that there is one true God in this land. Goliath didn't care what David said, and he moved closer to attack him. David ran quickly to meet him. He reached into his pouch and pulled out a smooth stone. He put it in a slingshot and he shot it at Goliath. The stone hit him right between his eyes. And suddenly, Goliath started to fall. He fell to the ground right on his face with a loud thud. He had killed him. David had done it. He had beat the giant Philistine. When the rest of the Philistine army saw this, they ran away. And David became the hero to all the people of Israel. Be brave like David. There's things that scare us in life, things that we're afraid of. And that's the same for everybody. But God gives us faith so that we can be strong, so we can be brave, just like David was. There are things to be afraid of in this earth, but with God on our side, we know that we face them with a greater strength than we could ever ourselves. So be brave. Stand up for what you know is right. Do the right thing. Be brave, just like David was.